Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing another wish video. This time, we are going to be trying wish prom dresses. This is the absolute most requested video on my channel right now. I remember I tried wish prom dresses a couple years ago, and I have stayed far, far away since then because I'm not gonna lie, not very many of them actually looked like the pictures. So I'm hopeful for today, but honestly, I'm not expecting human. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna lift my expectations extremely high, only yet to be disappointed, but maybe we'll be surprised. I feel like that's not a good idea. No, I'm gonna keep my expectations low. I'm not expecting a lot, but I'm expecting at least one dress to really turn out good. I feel like that's reasonable. I am hopeful for these dresses for a few reasons. One reason being they are super, super affordable. So if you are a little bit tight on money and you're still wanting to go to prom, okay, that's a whole nother thing though. I guess a lot of people's proms are being canceled. And I asked you guys on Instagram if you still wanted to see some prom dress videos because when I ordered these and when I ordered some other ones from different companies I was not anticipating that prom would be canceled so I know that these videos are very much for the people going to prom but I think they're also just fun to watch and entertaining to see the pretty dresses so make sure to let me know if you guys still want to see these videos if not I can save them for another year or whatever but I do still like doing them and hopefully you guys still like watching them and I'm sorry to you guys who have had your prom canceled that is a bummer try and have like an at-home prom maybe. Okay, but all that aside, today we are doing a prom dress video and I'm very excited. As I said, very inexpensive. The pictures look absolutely amazing and I don't know what we'll get. So I think without further ado, let's get into trying on these prom dresses. I know that's why you guys are here. You're not here for me to ramble, so I understand. I'm not offended. It's okay. I wouldn't want to listen to myself ramble either. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this time around, I actually have all the dresses hanging up already like they're out of the packaging now I have yet to really look at them I just unpacked them really quickly and hung them up because I felt like a few reasons for this one being I feel like they have a better chance of looking good if they haven't been crumpled up into a like a little bag so I wanted to give them that and also I was seriously like confused at looking just into the package is what I usually do. I'll just cut open a little bit and look and I'll be like, oh, that's that. But I was not getting the answers. I was like opening it up. It didn't look like the right color. It didn't look like the right fabric. So I had to take everything out to actually figure out what was what. And now I know I have all the dresses here. I didn't examine them too much, but I did have to take them out and like figure out which one they were, which I feel like is a bad sign because I literally couldn't figure out which dress was which. Like with the shopping ad, I could not line it up, but now I have and yeah, that's why they're out of the packaging. So first dress that we have hanging up is this high quality woman fashion ladies elegant formal dress sequins lace sleeveless backless halter maxi long dress prom dress. This was $38. It says on the uh, website originally $169. Got some serious detail going on in the back. Well, not serious detail, but like I'll have to like weave this through to make it an open back. The model picture looks amazing. You know, this has three and a half stars, which I think are, usually I would say is not too great, but I feel like that's not too bad. And the fabric doesn't feel super luxurious, but it doesn't feel too, too bad. And I think that this one was one that really did resemble the picture. So I think without further ado, let's just put it on and see what it looks like. It really could go one of two ways. Oh my gosh, riddle me impressed by this dress. You guys, this actually looks like the picture and it feels good. Like it's super, super comfortable, super soft. The only critique I would give it is that it doesn't go all the way to the floor, but I think with this style, you can get away with it. And if you are a little bit shorter than me, this would fit you a lot better because I am wearing like three to four inch heels just because I feel like it helps. Well, you guys told me that it helps for you to be able to see the dress better, and I agree. This is actually super, super cute, and like I have my bra on, but like the back is really nice too. Like if you ignore my bra strap, it's like a crisscross and it ties and falls, and it gets a little bit longer in the back. Like this is really cute. I could definitely see somebody wearing this to prom or like a bridesmaid dress or just to like a nice event. 
this is cute. Like I am literally so impressed by this. I have like a whole new thought on how the rest of the video is gonna go because the first one is a 10 out of 10. Like I would literally give this a 10 out of 10. Sorry if I'm super surprised and it's obvious, but I feel like I've gotten lit down by Wish products a lot, but maybe I gotta give them more credit. The first one is a bang. Okay, this next ad was $35. Now keep in mind, all these prices are the prices before shipping. So the shipping prices are usually close to the same price of the item or a little bit less. So you can kind of assume this dress was probably like $16 shipping, but um, I'm just gonna go with the price without shipping. So this dress, I actually have purchased this exact same dress off of the website Hebios, which was a prom dress uh, brand that I tried that was a little bit more expensive, but it was like really 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 amazing quality and I think that they are the original sellers of this dress I'm not 100% sure but I know they did recreate it really well but wish I just I'm not sure if this really is going to encompass what this dress is supposed to be because when you look at the beaded top or like the embroidered detailed top in the ad this just doesn't follow suit i feel like i see what they were trying to do but i just don't think that it works the skirt on the other hand looks very very nice almost like a silk and i actually think it looks really really pretty i think my issue lies in the top but we will put it on and see if we can get over the top being not exactly right. Okay, I stand by what I said before. I feel like putting it on, it doesn't change the fact that I'm a little underwhelmed with the top, but look how good the bottom of the skirt went. Like if you were going to like transform this, you could just take the bottom and like do a whole different top. Ooh, or what if you turn this into like a tube top and it was like a two piece? I feel like I, I should start making videos where I like upscale Wish products that I got, but honestly, I'm just not very good at sewing, but I could definitely try and do that. And I feel like this dress would be a good contender for that because like, I feel like the skirt is a 10 out of 10. The top, not so much, especially because it's actually supposed to be like an off the shoulder, which I feel like does help the look, but then it's constantly sliding. I would have to kind of Okay, wait a second. That looks like the picture. And like from a distance, I feel like it looks really cute. Definitely the like embroidery and the detail on top is not of the same intensity as the ad, but I feel like it's not bad. What the heck? Guys, this does not even look too bad. Like, look at this. I feel like you could easily get away with wearing this to prom and it was so inexpensive. It just might need a little bit of alterations. But I feel like this one is not bad at all. I'm impressed. Not bad. Okay, this dress was $21 and this is women's gradient elegant hanging neck dress, dress evening gown robe. Now, this caught my attention immediately. It screamed cotton candy dress in my face. I was excited about it. This one was one that I kind of understood which one it was, but I'm a little bit worried. So here is the top of it. It's got the deep little plunge with mesh over top. One thing I will say is all these fabrics feel very very soft the issue is I just feel like they don't feel super high quality and then again this was a $21 dress you have to keep that in mind but you also have to keep in mind the picture that they're selling it off of because I feel like if they would just take a picture of this on like a mannequin and that's how they like feature the product piece they would have better reviews and people would know what they were getting into because this is far off the picture but Maybe we'll still like it. I don't want to be like repetitive in the same things I'm saying. So let me just put it on. Let me think of some new words to use. Okay, this actually looks better than I thought it would on. Now, obviously it's way too short. The more mesh fabric goes all the way to my feet, but the other one kind of stops right at the center of my calf. Calf? I don't know what the difference between a body part and a baby cow. Are they the same thing? Is it pronounced the exact same? Because I honestly don't know. Now, I wouldn't say that I would necessarily think of this as a prom dress. It's more like a glamorized nightgown. That being said, though, I feel like it definitely looks better than I had anticipated. I like the top. 
I actually really, really like the bottom. Like if you were a very extra nightgown wearer, I feel like this is that, or maybe even like it could be like a very cute bridesmaid dress. Granted, you can wear it however you want. If you wanna wear this to prom, go ahead. I just feel like the fabric and kind of the look isn't doesn't necessarily scream prom to me, but it's not bad. Again, like I would probably give this like an eight out of 10. The only drawback is it doesn't look really like the picture exactly. It's nice in its own way, but it doesn't, I wouldn't say it looks like the picture enough. And the fabric is very, very thin. So that's the only other thing. Okay, this dress, $35. This was like a little mini dress with these long strands on the side. This dress is the most itchy fabric. I'm worried about this one like these gel uh, jewels and like sparkles feel like it's actually just glue and then craft glitter put on top now maybe it will look good from a distance but the issue is everything underneath this dress is getting covered in glitter that's falling off so I don't think the glitter was secured correctly but other than that, I think it looks good. I just think this one will be probably the most uncomfortable and probably nobody would want to wear this for a full day at their prom. So my expectations are kind of low for that one, not gonna lie. Okay, this seems to be a reoccurring theme, but it is definitely a little short. I was expecting this whole train part to go to my feet, but not a huge deal. I think the biggest deal with this one Firstly, okay, I need to give credit where credit is due. This looks so much more like the picture than I thought it was going to. Like, I feel like if you are going to an event that it doesn't matter if you are sprinkling glitter onto the ground every step of the way, and if you have a high tolerance for uncomfortable clothes, this dress might be made for you. Personally, me, I can't put my arms down without getting like red marks and red marks around my neck just because the glitter is so itchy but it's only itchy like on places where it's touching you like on the skirt it's not itchy on the inside it's just in the key spots where your skin and the dress meet but yeah i think looks wise it's a eight i think wearing wise it's like a two okay this one was actually sold as a wedding dress this was 28 dollars again three and a half stars from 240 people which i feel like is not that bad of a review happy i went back and looked at the ad though because in the front this is like super super like deep neck and i think that i probably would have assumed this was the front but it is in fact the back so the back's gonna be really pretty the front's good this is an extra small though and it seems like it's going to be very wide in the shoulders but this fabric's nice. I think it would have to be steamed. It's just really still looking wrinkly even after hanging for a couple days. But I actually have high hopes about this one. I'm feeling good about it. Right, so it's a little bit big on the top, but if we just ignore that, say we had it altered in like that, not too hard, just a little pinch in the back, which by the way, the back is super, super open and really cute. This, if this was put in, this is like a very, very nice, basic wedding dress that you could either style up or just leave it like this. I think you would need a little like underskirt for this just because it is a little bit see-through. But like it's nice. It has like a hidden zipper and it's got like these pleats right here that kind of shape your body. I I am like so surprised and impressed. I feel like when I was unpacking everything I was kind of just like ooh like this isn't gonna be good. But this is not bad. Like, I absolutely love it if it was tailored into my size. And I think the style is really, really pretty and elegant. It's got like a little train to it. Definitely more wedding dress-esque than prom dress. That is how they were selling it too. But I think this is pretty nice to put in. Like, this is cute. And it came in other colors. If you wanted to do it as a prom dress in a different color or even in white, I think this would work. It just has to get steamed get those wrinkles out. Okay, this ad really got my attention. This blue dress is so pretty. I love how the flower details like go up the neck and also down into the tulle skirt. It's so nice, but the sad thing is, is it has two stars, which I feel like really sets the tone. And if that didn't set the tone, then the dress itself will set the tone. The color is just all wrong. It actually really reminds me of the green dress. It's got a whole different style to it. Like the picture was more like a sweetheart and then it came up a little bit. This one's more like a halter and it's got kind of like what seems to be like a little cut right here. And then it goes on into the tulle and the tulle and the skirt part is just a much darker 
blue but you know what I don't want to hate on these because you know what they're so inexpensive and if you can even just like change a little aspect of them to make them better these are like the first step to a dress right like there's a little bit more you have to add to it it's not like a one and done it's like a one and a few more steps and you can make it look really good so maybe that's what we should be looking for I don't know though okay this one I'm not a huge fan of Granted, it's not awful, like if it was tailored in, it's still cute. I just feel like there's not very many nice details to it. Like if you see this shoulder, it's like really wide. And then this one is like more, like that's a lot better of a cut than this one. Like it just feels like that, that detail alone, I feel like makes this not very cute. And then just like to have this really long out the front. And then two on the hips and none on the back. That being said, for the price, I definitely think that you could make this one a little bit better by just like, I would almost cut this and add more pieces around and then obviously reshape this. You know what? This one is the first one to actually be all the way to the floor. So I got to give it points for that. But that's the only place it gets points. That's it. That's all I'll give. Here we have an $8 prom dress. One shoulder. This is a very, very stretchy, comfortable, elastic, pretty much like spandex. Like if you've ever had like inexpensive leggings, I feel like that's what this feels like. It's got this little ruched bunching bit right here that will probably snug up the waistline. And then it's like a high-low. I think this is going to be cute. With the right look I think that you could get away with this I think it just has to fit well so we will see if it fits me good okay I feel like I'm saying this a lot but from a distance not too bad I definitely could have sized down with a stretchy fabric like this if it doesn't fit you it does look a little bit droopy and I feel like around the top it does seem a little droopy like if I could just get it in a little bit I feel like that transforms the whole dress it's super super caught comfortable. <laughs> I was gonna say soft and comfortable. Anyways, it's soft and comfortable. Back's nice and cute. It's just a high-low. I think it's just a little ill-fitting and I will say the fabric is very, very, very inexpensive. We'll definitely show any little bumps or grooves that you have. So that is one thing to say this is not a forgiving dress. But yeah, I feel like it's not too bad. I'd give it like a six out of 10 though, not super high. Okay, the last dress, but certainly not least, $36, four whopping stars, not bad. It's a woman off the shoulder evening dress. Now this one was intriguing, so, so pretty. Um, I actually think that the silhouette is really, really close. Like here's the sleeve, it's so nice and long. I think where it kind of hit the wall is the flowers. I think that just a little bit of an extra detail to make these flowers look a little more real and a little bit more different colors, not all the same, would have done this dress well. But I think it's actually still going to be pretty cute and pretty similar to the picture. Like, I'm feeling like we may have ended off on a bang. So let's put this one on and see what we think. It's a very unique dress. I like it. Oh my gosh. Wish has seriously impressed me. Like, this is such nice fabric, you guys. Like, this feels like genuine chiffon the whole way. The skirt has, like, two layers to it. So it's not see-through at all. It's just a little bit staticky. The size is like pretty much perfect. It goes right to the floor and these go right to the floor. They're very dramatic. Like this looks like the picture. I think the only thing is the roses look a little less fake or sorry, a little less real. But that being said, when you put it on, I feel like it's really, really goes together. Like this is, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I seriously love this. I almost feel like I'd like it maybe even a bit more without the flowers. Should I take them off? These are a very dramatic sleeve. Like if I would had this to prom, you get a big pointing with it. I'd be like, go that way, go that way. I'm going this way. I really like this. Oh my goodness, you guys. One thing I did not think about, I'm like scared to touch any outlet. Well, not outlet, like on and off light switch right now because every time I touch anything electrical, I'm getting so shocked. Like seriously, this dress is so staticky. You will need to pick up some static guard or something because I literally can feel the static on me. Like I can feel it on like my fingertips. It's freaking me out and everything, like all this dust, listen.
<laughs> there's so much static on me. I am so, so pleasantly surprised with these dresses. I feel like a lot of them are very cute. A lot of them I feel like would take just a little bit of adjusting and then they would be super, super cute. I'm feeling like super happy with them. Wish did well, good job, Wish. I think this definitely went a lot better than the last time when I tried Wish prom dresses, so I name that a success. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you guys want to see more prom dresses in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, let me know which one was your favorite. Okay. <laughs>